Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I always have to tell you if it's not really Friday. It's Thursday, but I had to do my video today because we've had always had so much stuff going on, you know. One day it will calm down, I think. But I did get my closet done. I got all of my makeup off the floor. I got cleaned up. It is so refreshing. I got most of my fragrances out on my little credenza over here. And tomorrow, they are coming to work on my room over the garage, the sheetrock. We had to wait for the inspector to come inspect the heating and air that they put in there. And so I'm scared that it'll be too noisy and stuff over there tomorrow. Okay. My hair today, I just let it dry naturally last night, but the problem was I went to bed with it wetter than usual. So it's kind of like flat and I didn't get highlights last time. And if you don't get highlights, you just get color, you lose that body. So next time I'll get highlights and I'll get a lot more body. But I already wanted to tell you about these sunglasses. I showed these in my sunglasses video and I had no idea when I did that video that most of those, I think all of the sunglasses that I showed you, which it was 10 pair and they were all under $60 or something, they were all on sale. But I have loved these. This particular color, I think, is amazing. I love, it's It's really weird how even the color right here, you can kind of see it when you're driving or when you're wearing them. And the fact that this is light just makes them even feel lighter. And it makes me reach for them over the rest of my sunglasses. And this is what I love right here. Being able to put them in my hair and the nose piece doesn't get caught. So that I just planned. I was gonna put the side of my hair up and I thought, no, I'll just do like I always do and put my sunglasses up in my hair. My lips. This lipstick is so pretty. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen me wear it, but it is the Nude Envy Lips. And this company kind of specializes in all different types of nude lipsticks. They have lip liners, they have some eyeshadows. You probably remember me, I bought these back when I lived in my old house. They sent me this color, which is lips. And what is so good about it is, see how it's kind of like just a fleshy, it's like nude, but it's not too bright, too pink, too peach, too white too opaque. It's just easy. And it's creamy. I just think you guys, if you are a nude lip lover, you will love it. It is so silky on my hand because my hands are a little bit more tan, which I'm going to show you that in a minute. It looks a little bit more pink, but it really just comes off as just a good fleshy lip color. I love it. I think you guys would really like it too. Now the lip liner they sent me to go with it is called Perfect, I believe. Perfect. Give you a good look at it here. I wish it showed up that dark on my lips, but this morning I even used it over my a little bit of foundation. But what this is really good for is overlining just that little bit. Like I went a little bit over and it just gives that perfect kind of shadow where your lips are so fluffy and full and juicy that they kind of fold back. I just really think if you're someone who doesn't really want a lip liner look, but wants to create that shadow a little bit, you would love this. I'll just do a little bit more. Oh. So pretty. Maybe that was the problem. Maybe I needed to do a little bit more over the lipstick. Very pretty. So just want to show you those. And then the eyeshadows. They sent me the Divine, which is a dark, just really beautiful, like cocoa brown, pigmented. It's just a gorgeous color. Very, very beautiful. I love how it's kind of like a cocoa almost a smoky brown. Oh gosh, so pretty. And then this one is my favorite and I am wearing this one today. I love this. Almost any eye I do, I can do this as the final step and I just love it. The color of this one is dreamy. And see how it's just that you know, I always say I love it when an eyeshadow looks almost like you have blush in your 
in the crease that it's like that but better and it's not going to show up on my hand as well but you get the picture of how pretty that is so you can see how all of these colors together like the lips and then that little bit of that blushy brown tone oh they just they're beautiful this is definitely i've ordered several eyeshadows from there and this is my favorite color yet so thank you to nude envy for sending those to me they have this pink lipstick i think it's limited edition and i believe it's inspired by farrah fawcett and i that's that that's going to be my next one this i've told you i think i had this in my favorites it is the bumble and bumble curl reactivator I have tried the mousse. I have tried the cream, I think, from this line. I like those okay, but nothing I would ever buy again. But this, I've already gone through my little travel one that I bought probably a month ago, which says something for me because I have so many products. But it is one of those things I would search for to get because on days like this, you know, I brushed out my hair this morning. I needed to get it back not really curly, but you know what I mean, not fuzzy. And I use this all the time for that. And I'm gonna use it a lot this summer. In the winter, you know, I blow dry my hair and I don't need it as much. But in the summer, I like to give my hair a break from all of the styling and just let it dry natural. And this is wonderful. I just can't tell you enough good about it. And it smells good. It's not overpowering. It won't overpower your perfume or anything, but it smells good, it's fresh. This. I saw an ad for this on either Instagram or YouTube, and I was glad to see they still sold it. I think I, I told you about it. It was in my old house, but it is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer for face and body, and it's waterproof. And it is. It Like if you scrub your skin, of course it comes off, but I think if you were to wear this and just take a dip in the pool, I think it would still be on there. So I have been using this in my last probably i would say three to four videos just get yourself a good dense buffer brush i've shown you several good body brushes i know uh, revolution makeup has one i have an old eco tools one that you can't even buy anymore and so this is what i have on today like on my chest and i even have it like on my arms and down on my hands and it will stay there until I take a shower tonight and I use like a body scrub or something and then it comes right off. I wouldn't say it doesn't have as much coverage as like the Sally Hansen, but man, it's so much easier, cleaner. I think it has a better glow and it really does have some coverage. So I really think if you want to have something just to put on your neck and decollete to give you a bronzy look, you would love this. Hey, I go in Sephora all the time and I'm always asking them, they kind of know now to show me what's new in the store. When I went the other day, it was pretty exciting because used to we had just a little bitty Chanel counter like against the wall, but they have made a full length counter kind of like would be at a Sephora. And then on the other side, they're getting hourglass. So I'm hoping to maybe stop by there this weekend probably and see what they have. But what they had new was this collection. And typically I don't, I feel like these Morphe palettes, it's not that I don't think they're good, but I feel like once you have one, you pretty much have them all unless they're just crazy colors or something. But when I looked at this, you can see how it appealed to me. It's the Gilded Desert 35 Bronzed and Brilliant Shades. I saved the box so I could read this out to you. Bronze bears all. These deep metallics, toasty terracottas, cool toned neutrals, and sultry nudes take these smoking hot looks of yours from sun-kissed days to bronzy nights. It is a good palette. It's one, I, it might be the best palette I've ever gotten from Morphe. What I did today is I started out with this really cool color, which is called Bronzed and Buffed. I even like the names of the colors. They're not ridiculous. And they do kind of go with the color that they go with. So I started with Bronzed and Buffed in my crease. And then I did the Nude Envy in the outer crease and then carried it in a little bit when I got most of the color off. And then I did, I believe I did Serious Shine on the lid, no, serious shine I think I did up here. And then I did this one, 24 karat glow on my lid. So it just looks like a naked lid. Sorry, I'm looking in the mirror, then I'm looking in the monitor, but it looks like a naked lid, but it's crisper and a little bit prettier. 
but notice how there's not a bunch of like fallout and dust up. There was none. And then I couldn't stop there. I used this one, which is in the shade, and I went over my liner. I don't know if you can see it, but I love when you smoke out your liner just a little bit. It really just adds so much more to your eye look. So I used pretty much neutral or cooler colors, but look how there is these bronzy and warm shades too. There's a lot of shades in here, like that one I could probably even use for my eyebrows. And that one, but look at that color. A lot of the camel -y shades. So I think this would be just a fun palette to get if you're, I know you probably already have all these colors, but you would have them all together. You would have all the different formulas, like some shimmers and some mattes. It would be good for traveling and it's just not that expensive and it's a fun palette and it's worth it. I will say I got the, there was two highlighters that went with a lighter one and a darker one. And I actually have it on, but then I had to end up putting my Bobbi Brown bronze shimmer brick on because I couldn't even hardly see it. Okay, my fragrance of the day. This is a deceiving little fragrance here. When you look at this bottle, you just think, matter of fact, when I got it in the mail, I ordered it from Ulta. I got it and I thought, why did I get that? I, something I wanna do is I'm going to put down below about five or six of the fragrance channels that I follow. I have really enjoyed getting to know some of these personalities. It's kind of like my plant people. Plantarina, she is the funniest. She would have me laughing so hard in the car. Anyway, some of the perfume girls are the same way. So I wanted to put some of their videos down below because it will give you a little bit more insight into, you know, my approach with fragrance. I know that I'm going to buy more than the average person. One, because I do YouTube and I want to review these for you. I have all of you out there from ages, I mean, my biggest age range is like 25 to 65. So, and I want to appeal to all of you and all of the different scents within my taste. I'm not going to get anything that's just like way, way, way out of my comfort zone, but I am trying to branch out a little bit and learn about different things. So anyway, if you watch some of them, you'll, you'll really um, understand more where I'm coming from. And some of them, the personalities are so funny. Like there's the really sexy, like some of them are just really sexy with their fragrances and some of them are really funny and witty and then some of them are very, you know, tell you all the ounces and just tell you about the creation of the bottle and all of that stuff. So I've really, really enjoyed that and I think you would too. But this fragrance, let me pull it up on my phone, is beautiful. Today is not hot. We've had the, I hate to complain about the weather because it's not anything to complain about. It's just weird because it's been cold here all week. And normally by this time, we are just pretty much in the thick of, we're already starting summer. May is just like my favorite month because it's summer weather, but the humidity hadn't gotten there yet. Okay, so White Tea by Elizabeth Arden. The main accords, the first one is aromatic, green, marine, iris, woody, fresh spicy, fresh, powdery, citrus, and earthy. So I think there's a something for everyone there. The only one I didn't see is fruity. Okay, going back to the weather. I wanted something today that kind of went with my mood and went with the weather, went with what I'm gonna be doing today. I wanted to wear something that if I was around John a lot, that wouldn't be too overpowering. And that's when I thought about this one. White Tea by Elizabeth Arden is a woody floral musk fragrance for women. White Tea was launched in 2017, created by da 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 da. Top notes, C notes, fern, mandarin orange, clary sage, middle notes, white tea, and even drinking tea relaxes me. Smelling tea fragrances relaxes me. So that's what I'm thinking of is a nice relaxing fragrance. White Iris and Mate. Base notes are Ambrette, Musk Milo, Exotic Woods, Tonka Bean, and Amber. One thing I wanted to say is I have been, and I've probably already said this, I have been describing what I wanted all wrong. When I told you guys I wanted something fresh, I didn't really mean fresh. Fresh in the perfume world usually means 
a little bit um, like those words I was saying, zingy, green, sparkling. It's more of that. And that's really not what I want. What I really mean is comforting. So I have found that I really like musk. Now, not all musk, and it can't be too musky. And I used to, just the word musk to me used to be a turn off. But now that I know more, it's not. I want that soft, comfortable, skin-like, sexy, calm feeling. And that is what this gives. So I'm going to put it on now. I sprayed a few sprays this morning just to make sure that's what I wanted to wear today. So I'm going to put some on. Then it is, to me, this is fresh. Like those first notes are fresh, almost like, I hate to say laundry detergent, but like a detergent or a soap or a hand cream or something like that. And then it's very, very smooth. That is my biggest thing I like in a fragrance is I like it to be a smooth fragrance. That's one thing that I've had a hard time with the Parfum de Marley Delina is that is not smooth. That rhubarb packs a punch. But when I talk to you about that, I'm going to do a video on the different Parfum de Marleys. I will explain to you how I've gotten past that and really the stages of that perfume with me. But anyway, this is beautiful. I will probably put the sprayers pretty too. Put a little bit more. See, no burning, no alcohol scent, nothing cloying, nothing stinging my nose, nothing making me want to cough. I don't feel like it's in my mouth. It is just a good, smooth fragrance, and I think it is ageless. I think it is seasonless. And I remembered who talked about this after I read about it. I believe, I can't remember her name, but she has like a Cuban type accent. She wears this to bed. Like a lot of people will have a an after shower fragrance. A lot of people will have a gym fragrance. A lot of people will have a bedtime fragrance. And she wears this to bed. And I can see that. I can see how you would do this. It is a very calming, pretty, it just, it looks like this bottle. But don't let the white tea make you think it's just going to be a linear white tea scent. It's not. There's so much more to it. It is not fruity. It's not coconutty. It's not anything that I typically go to, but it's something that I wanted. You could wear this to your office to visit your grandmother. You know, you're not going to get on anyone's nerves with this. So I really want to tell you about that. And it's been out, what did they say? I think since 2017. So I'm going to link a couple of places down below because when they've been out several years like that, a lot of times you can get them at the discount sites or on Amazon or at Walmart. And I have ordered from all of those places and have had very good luck. But sometimes I like to just know that I'm getting a fresh bottle. And I think that's why I ordered from Ulta. So I have something big to show you. I have my Mother's Day gift. I actually ordered two bags. I could not decide between two bags with Prada. And John, being the angel that he is, told me to get both of them. So the first one I got Monday, and I will put a picture of it up here. And as soon as I saw it, I knew it was going to be a small bag. But it had some, you'll see the strap and the little thing that went with it. I kind of thought, well, maybe I can pull it off for summer. But when I really thought about it, I just didn't care for it. And I've got a black sack macrame bag that I've had. It's vintage. I've had it since I was in my 20s. I have used that already this summer. So I knew I already had that look. So I ended up sending that back. This one just came yesterday, so I'll be right back to show you. Okay, I'm going to sit back so you can see. But look at the size of this box. When I got it yesterday, it was on the porch and it had a cool, I don't know if I brought it up here. Let me see if I sat it over there in that chair. But it had a really cool band on it too. It was just different packaging than like Chanel or something. Okay, here we go. I had dropped it on the floor when I picked up the box. But this is what was around it. And that is like a, a nice like metal Prada. And I know some of you creative girls out there could probably do something really cool with this. So I'm going to keep it. I'm, I'm going to put it in the box and I'll probably keep this box at least for a little while. What I try to do is 
keep the box until I know I love the bag and I'm not gonna sell it. Because if you sell designer bags, it's really nice to have the box. So it came in a big dust bag, but I'm just gonna show it to you. Here it is. And I have had this bag on my mind since the moment I saw it. It was like the dead of winter and they had already advertised in this bag and it just stuck in my mind. And they have it in black and I think they have it in some other colors too. And they have different designs, but I wanted this one. I knew if I got the black one, it would probably be more practical. And if I love this bag, I might still get the black one, but there was just something about this purple bag. Now, it's once I take this out, it's just like this. And today's outfit isn't the best for this, but what I think this looks so good with is dresses. I just love it. I love the length of the handles. I love the shape of it. I love the color. I love every single thing about it. I think it's so summertime. But what I need, and you guys can help me with, is I've got a, a nude tan bag now, but I always keep my stuff in my bag anyway in another bag. That way it's easy to switch bags real quick, but I want something cool to go in here. And I just love it. It is like a raffia. It's, it's weird, it's kind of like the raffia, but it's not, you can see it's soft. It's not crochet like fabric, like the sack bags. It's definitely more of a grassy feel, but it's not cheap or I'm not scared it's gonna pick my dress or anything. And it does have, what is this? Oh, this is like the authenticity card, I guess. It does have a bottom. So it's not just a, I mean, it's not gonna sit on the floor or anything, but it does give it more of a frame. So that is what I got for Mother's Day and I love it, love it, love it. And I decided when I sent the other one back, I ended up just buying some really nice fragrance with that, which I was thinking I might do this weekend a kind of a niche or high-end luxury fragrance haul. I won't be able to tell you much about any of them because I'm just getting them, but I've got a lot of them here that I would like to show you. And I feel like after you watch those fragrant, fragrance girls and guys, you will get a better idea of what I want to do and... You know, I want to really explore different niche brands and I want to have, you know, some comparisons and stuff. It's kind of like if you were brand new into makeup and you had never tried Estee Lauder Double Wear or uh, Tarte Shape Tape, you would, you would have to get those to compare all of the new stuff with. And so that's kind of what I'm doing is I'm, I have just found so many good oldies but goodies. And when I say oldies, I just mean... 2018, 2019, 2020 fragrances that are just that we, no one ever talks about that are so good. So not everything is going to be very expensive. It's just like my makeup and clothing taste. It will be, you know, I've got some Zara fragrances that I want to tell you about all the way up to the Parfum de Marly or Byredo and all of those. So it's just, it's been fun. Okay, and my outfit of the day. I'll be right back. I want to show these to you guys first before I put them on. John came across these in the garage. I knew they were out there, and I've shown them to you before, but I have had these shoes since Brooke. I bought them for Easter. I had a, a whole blue, it was a light blue outfit that I had gotten from The Limited, I believe. It was a light, uh, I would love to find the picture. It was, we were going to an Easter egg hunt. If I can, I'll show it, but there's no way I'm gonna find it because I have no idea where it is. It's in like one of the many hundreds of photo albums that we have. But I had a light blue sleeveless, um, kind of silky top with the matching skirt. And I got these shoes to wear with it. And I, they're Sam and Libby. I got them, back then we had a Sam and Libby store at the mall. And I remember being with John and Will in the stroller and getting these shoes. And I think it was, Let's see, um, she's a 2000s baby, so it's probably 2002 because she was born in March. So I think we had Easter right after she was born, so it was when she was one. So it must have been 2000 and 
or 2001, yeah, 2001. But I can't believe they're still, you know, like they're still in style. So I'm gonna wear these today because they're very comfortable. They've got that good square toe, which cracks me up. And I love like the gray nude color of them. And then some of you guys may know Shalice Noel on Instagram. She is the one, I, I mean, I have done inspired outfits by her for years since my old house. And she has her own like clothing line. And I showed you guys her poncho from before. She sent me this cool boyfriend t-shirt and I wanted to just wear it out at first so you could see the cut of it. See how it's a good boxy cut? It would be perfect to wear with, you can wear it with anything. I mean, you can wear, I, I think of it first with like a pencil skirt or a skirt like right over the knee or of course jeans or anything. But today I am going to tuck it into these high rise jeans from, I think these are from Pretty Little Thing. And I wanted some that came up high so I could tuck this t-shirt in. And the beauty is when you have a t-shirt like this that when you tuck it in, you don't have a whole lot of tail to deal with. So it goes real pretty in your shirt. And then I wanted some long jeans so I could wear these shoes. Just a casual, casual outfit, but something that you still feel good in. I just didn't feel like wearing a dress today because it's not sunny, it was raining, and I just can't get over these shoes. Isn't it neat that my foot has been the exact same size since I was, how old was I then? I guess I was probably 30 or 31 when I, had the, when I got these. Okay, and then for accessories, I felt like today was a good hoop day. And I have to show you, these are the Miranda Fry Huggies that I never take out. So I take a shower in these, the shampoo goes over them, everything, and look at how good they are still holding up. I, could, no, I don't think any stones have fallen out. They haven't turned. They're still gold, and I'm just really impressed with the quality. I just had to say that. And then this is my necklace I've been so crazy about from Dean Davidson, my ring, and that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you saw something you can go get this weekend. And for those of you that enjoy fragrance videos, I will be back this weekend with a major fragrance video. Some good ones, some good ones that I'm just really excited to try. So see you then. Bye-bye.